yo what's up guys it's your boy aloe we're back with another banger video guys today we're going to be seeing what is the best ability in all-star tower defense and we're going to do a little bit of a tier list but before we hop on in it today uh let's go get those shout outs boys if you want to shout out all you guys have to do is comment down below all right big shout out to uh blue king shout out to bro man thanks for coming on the streams bro man i see you there all the time uh shout out to cheese curl you're practically my father shout out dad easy oh my gosh you guys are sus shout out to rolex heart hatsuko and ivan also guys if you need a star pass just enter the giveaway in the pinned comment and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because i'm gonna be dropping the new code unit teaser hopefully very soon i know you guys have been super hyped up for it and i'm sorry it's taking so long all right let's hop into the tier list all right guys there we have a few new abilities here uh so let's go explain what these two new abilities do uh the two new abilities are a wall of light and life or death all right all right first up we'll talk about big mom's ability big mom's ability is not too great it's basically starboy requiems but you can't spam it i don't know if we if it's tested that if you can use both um unfortunately i don't have a big mom yet so we will test her out if you can use both that means she would be meta but if you can only use one of them like her or star boys it that means she won't be that great so for that reason boys uh we're gonna drop her in the a tier she may be meta but we're not sure yet all right the other new ability is from uh god black fusion this ability is straight up cracked all right let's go uh can i zoom in here all right, let's zoom in here, boys. When activated, God Black's Fusion creates a... Basically, it decreases the enemy's HP down to 50. That's freaking insane, man. But that's literally OP. Now, he is kind of an expensive unit. His total cost is 2.4 million. However, for that uh, alone, he's definitely what's used to get to wave 106. So we got to drop Wall of Light into the S tier. This ability is straight broken. All right, let's keep it moving, man. All right. Next up, we have Domain 9. Now, this is Gojo's six stars ability. It's a very, very good ability. Uh, basically, it is meta for raid mode and infinite mode. So for that reason, we might actually have to add a tier, man. We'll call it um uh we'll call it uh, row above. We'll call it the uh just broken, the broken, the OP tier, bro. This is the stuff that's meta for infinite and story mode. Basically, you gotta get it, you know, because it just even if you don't like infinite mode, you still got to do it, man. You know, it's just OP, OP, and dom domain nine is that. Honestly, it might even be meta for story mode, but it's definitely meta for the raid mode. So definitely uh, consider getting Gojo, all right? Now, the normal Gojo's one is decent, but this one actually has a longer TS now because of the Gojo buff. Uh, so for that reason, we got to put that guy in the A tier. All right, next up, we have the other time stops. We're going to drop the time stops like this. All right, now the time stops aren't really that different, except this guy comes with a better unit. So they're not bad abilities. They're just not as long as Domain and don't have quite the range as Domain 9 does. All right, next up we have Target. Honestly, I think we might have to add an F tier as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, le oh man, like legit, this ability, oh my goodness. It does like 100 damage. I mean, like, come on. Like, this just isn't a good ability. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, it's just a really, really, really crap ability. So we're going to have to give it the F tier. All right, next up, we have right names. Now, we'll say, I don't know if there's a difference between this one and like the six star one or whatnot, but right names is a very OP ability, guys. It's literally a gem printing machine. So we're going to drop the six star one in the S tier and the F tier and this one, this the five star one in the b tier very very good uh abilities all right next up we have family overall this is whitebeard's ability i think um it's not the greatest ability um it does hit airs though so it's it's decent it is pretty much target though but i believe it also summons a giant tsunami so that makes it slightly better than target all right switch attack patterns is going in the b tier because it is a good damage farming one because it's attached to gilgamesh now if this was attached to a different unit it'd be even more op but you know it, it is what it is all right next up we got time rewind now time rewind i'm gonna put it in the op category as well uh not only is it attached to a uh, very good unit that's good for uh, infinite mode it's also good for uh, raid mode as well 
All right, next up we have Armor Bus. This is another thing that's really good for uh, Story Mode, Raid Mode, and Infinite Mode. I highly recommend you get him. He's attached to this unit right here, the Patriot. It's a five star and I believe it shows up in Banner Y, maybe even Banner X. So definitely a highly recommended unit to pick up considering how easy it is to get gems nowadays. All right, next up we have Blue Perfect Warrior. Now this summons a giant Susano. Unfortunately, the giant Susano isn't meta anymore for any game mode. And I do not recommend you get Kakashi six star either. So we're gonna have to actually drop that in the B tier. I can't really recommend it. All right, next up, we have Road Roller. Road Roller is like a slightly better time stop. So we're going to actually drop it. We're actually going to adjust things a little bit to this. The reason Road Roller is better is not only does it time stop, it also does damage. All right, so for that reason alone, we got to give it a little bit of credit. Next up, we got Summon. Now, this summons a giant. Uh, this summons like the cute little furry thingies. Um, So this is actually a decent ability. It's probably right around here in the D tier, though. Um yeah so we'll put it there all right black flames would be a very op ability unfortunately we have units that do the same thing as black flames like obito without the ability so it's just not really worth it anymore however it does an okay amount of damage so we'll drop it in low d tier all right next up we have lightning storm i believe this is amaya's ability honestly it's like a uh, budget uh it's like a budget um uh death note so we're gonna give it slightly below death note all right, this explosion is, um, this is Megumin's explosion, the, f the five star Megumin. Unfortunately, it's just not that great. Uh, it's basically the same thing. It's like a full AOE blast. So it's like the same thing as family overall, but it doesn't also summon a giant tsunami wave. All right, Venom Nukes is a decent ability. We'll give it C tier. It basically poisons all the enemies in its range. Now this is actually the same ability as enhancement. They both do the same thing, except this one does poison and this one does bleed. So pretty good abilities overall. All right, next up we have these two ones. This is on Deku five star, and this is on Goku. They're basically the same ability. Uh, what they do is they make the unit hit faster and sometimes do more damage. So they're very decent abilities. However, they're not attached to the greatest units. So we're gonna actually drop those in the D tier. I believe they're about the same in strength. All right, next up we have Ulaquara, which is another like budget, I believe, yeah, it's right around here. Decent thing. All right, Sun and Moon. Honestly, like, it could be really good. And honestly, I've actually seen it used pretty well. The problem is it caps at 100k damage uh, on the enemies. So basically what it does is every enemy you kill, it spawns it again with, like, half the HP or something. Uh, capped at 100k. Now, if this was capped at, like, a million, it would be busted. But unfortunately, it's capped at 100k, so it's not that good. And the cooldown isn't that great either. However, you know, maybe one day we'll get a Krolo six star and he's going to be crazy. All right. Next up, guys, we got Shinzeo Sasageo, the best ability in the game. This is meta for every single game mode you can think of. All right. If you don't have Erwin, I'll show you who he is. If you don't have this guy right here, man, you got to get him. He's literally triples your enemy, triples the damage, bro. It's freaking insane. It only costs 2K. Like, come on. He's freaking busted. I, he's been meta for over a year, like a year, like almost two years now, like straight up. He's literally been meta for almost two years. It'll be two years in a few months. All right, next up, we have Merlin. Now, Merlin, I'm going to drop it in the A tier. I don't really know if it's used for any leaderboard strategies at the moment, but it might be, and it's still a decent-ish it's still a decent um, ability. All right, Meteor Strikes is going to go as a solid D tier. It's the same thing as like family overall. But actually, you know what? Meteor Strikes does hit airs, but I believe it's the same as Explosion, so we'll drop in the F tier. Lance Mech is the Meta Knight one. It's basically the same as a Perfect Blue Susano, but a lot worse uh, because the damage just isn't as high. So we'll drop it in the D tier. All right, Detonate Bomb, bro. I don't even understand this ability. This is probably like the worst ability in the game. It's like target, but even worse because it just doesn't do any damage. It would be a cool ability if it actually did damage. Like, but for some, I don't know what it, what it does, but like it, it had potential. Like I like how it works, but uh, they just, just isn't worth it. All right, chakra mode is basically um, summon, but worse, way worse. Replacement is a meta. Basically it teleports the enemies back in the track. Now it's kind of hard to explain this ability, so let me explain it. All right, this is basically the best uh, way I could, best how to explain it. So it was kind of complicated, but basically uh, this right here, they, the enemies get teleported to the last corner that they turned. All right, so just remember that and you should be good to go. This was busted for, if you guys remember the rumbling event from this December, it was freaking insane for that. 
so for that reason alone it's good enough in my mind uh for the s tier because of course it's also leaderboard meta as well actually it's meta for the raid sort of but not like not enough so we'll drop it high s tier all right the march is also meta for raid but i believe it's not really used for infinite mode so we're gonna actually have to drop that in the a tier it's a decent ability but it just doesn't scale well when the enemies have a ton of health uh blizzard honestly i believe it it, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do but right, we'll put it that way like it could be a lot better but it just doesn't does what it's supposed to it was supposed to slow the enemies and it doesn't so it's definitely f tier music guys unfortunately roblox removed uh basically this ability like literally like it's, it's pretty much worthless now i think you can play maybe like like copyright free music but you can't play like the troll music anymore you can't play the rick rolls anymore stuff like that no it's not really worth it anymore Time stop ultimate is OP. Time stops all the enemies on the map. Same thing with sword blocker. Both very, very good abilities. String stuns is decent. I might stun the enemies, but it's just not that great overall. We'll give it solid C tier. Old ice is like the same thing. We'll give it B tier. All right, scream summons. It's basically like a slightly worse version of uh, of summon. So we'll drop it lower in the D tier. Devil back basically just makes the enemy have cracked out. Uh, basically it's like doubles it adds like no it adds like one to two million damage to the unit's attack which is actually pretty good but it only does it for 30 seconds so we'll give it a tier draw card is on yugi unfortunately it's like it's just you can only place one yugi and it takes forever to work and there's some rng involved so it's just not really worth it all right megaman's explosives is also very good we'll give it a solid uh we'll give it a solid b tier Oh, wait, why didn't he show up? All right, and lastly, we have Global Zero, which basically applies the Blackbeard slash Ichigo slow effect on all the enemies on the map. And you can spam it as well, which is pretty good. So we'll give it A tier. I just don't feel like people have used it quite yet as a meta strategy, but it might be meta. But it's just so costly that it's just not too crazy because the cooldown is literally 500 seconds along. So that's, that's kind of the problem with it. So, yeah. It's decent, but it's not the best. And it also does rewind the enemies as well. So it's it's pretty good overall, but it's nothing too crazy. All right, so there you go, guys. There is the ability tier list. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments down below. And uh, let me know if you guys want a shout out. And make sure you guys go enter the Star Pass giveaway and hit the subscribe button. Blast, but out. Peace.